So uh, the question is uh, for the brothers, and the question is, what are the surahs of the Quran that end with Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen? What are the surahs of the Quran? And I don't want to indulge Quran his students. Don't. <laughs> Current or previous. Uh, so any, um, what are the surahs that end with Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen? I want to get an opportunity to first the non hafaz <laughs> The hafaz is easy. Go ahead. And? Say again. And? Do you say Juma? <laughs> Zumar? Okay, that's half the answer, but I need the full answer. <laughs> Zumar and Safat. Takbir. So um, the end of Surah Safat is وَسَلَامٌ عَلَى الْمُرْسَلِينَ uh, سُبْحَانَ رَبِّكَ رَبِّ الْعِزَّةِ عَمَّا يُصِفُونَ وَسَلَامٌ عَلَى الْمُرْسَلِينَ وَالْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ And the end of Surah, that's the end of Surah Safat. The end of Surah Zumar is um, وَقُضِيَ بَيْنَهُمْ بِالْحَقِّ You give me the first part. وَقُضِيَ بَيْنَهُمْ بِالْحَقِّ وَقِيلَ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ so, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah rabbil alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulihi Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een. Say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala alihi Muhammad. Brothers and sisters, imagine there is someone from your family who has gone from this dunya. When you sit down with others from your family to remember them, you'll always remember them with praises. What a great individual they were. You remember the good that they did. You remember the impact, the positive impact they had in your life. What about Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? A man who gave everything he had for people like you and I, so we can be sitting here in the masjid saying, La ilaha illallah. A man who made so many sacrifices, and not only did he make sacrifices, the Sahaba made sacrifices. And this is a man who will make more dua for you and I, brothers and sisters, than he will make for his own family. Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha asked him to make dua for her. And when she, when the Prophet ﷺ, he did exactly as he was requested, she was overjoyed. And the Prophet ﷺ, he informed her that, Oh Aisha, you're so happy because I made dua for you. I make the same dua for my ummah every day five times. This is how much the Prophet ﷺ, he loved you and I. On the day of judgment, every person, every Nabi, will be saying, Ya Rabbi Nafsi. The only person who will stand there, not worried about their family, not worried about their children, not worried about the, only the Sahaba, it will be Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he will, he will stand there and he will say, Ya Rabbi Ummati. Oh Allah, my Ummah. The reason I say this is because yesterday we covered an ayah, a very beautiful ayah. This is perhaps the only thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us. Like, you know, Allah tells us to pray salat. Does Allah pray salat? He doesn't pray salat. Allah tells us to give zakat. Does Allah give zakat? He, Allah does not give zakat. Allah wants us to perform hajj. Does Allah perform hajj? No. But there is something that Allah tells us to do, and He says, I'm telling you to do it, because I and the angels also do it, and that is that we send our salat and our, we send our salams upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Think about the honor that Allah has given to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And, the Prophet, and Allah is telling us, send your salat upon the Prophet. Send your salam upon the Prophet. Uqba ibn Amir radiallahu ta'ala once came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he says, Ya Rasulullah, we know how to make salam. We say, Assalamu alayka ya Rasulullah. But how do we send our salat upon you, ya Rasulullah? And he says, the very famous supplication that you and I will recite every day in our salat numerous times. He says, alayhi salam, say, Allahumma, salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad. 
كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد This is how we send our salat upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Brothers and sisters, subhanallah, this, why do we send our salams? What benefit do you and I, we get? First of all, there's a hadith near, um, mentioned in Sunan Nasa'i uh, Nasa that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said that they are angels. They have been assigned on earth that their own responsibility, the only task that they have is that they take the salams from the people when they convey the salams and they come and they deliver it to me. In fact, there's another hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam mentioned in Abu Dawood that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam he mentions that Allah, think about this. Every single salam, when you and I we say Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Ali Muhammad, when you and I we say sallallahu alayhi wasallam, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam says that Allah we're not supposed to think about how he how this happens. Just try to understand the magnitude of this matter. The, the Prophet ﷺ says that Allah returns the soul into me so that I can give salam back to the person who made salam to me. And not only that, but in Sahih Muslim, the Prophet ﷺ, he also says that anyone who sends their salat and their salam upon me, Allah will wipe out ten sins. Allah will grant ten hasanat and Allah will elevate this person's darajah in Jannah by ten degrees. Brothers and sisters, think about this. You know, you know, subhanAllah, we have not seen Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, but you and I, we would love to be close to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You know, when people know our name, we feel honored. Imagine there is a big shaykh or someone that we truly admire in our life, and they know our name, we feel honored. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he mentions that when people, they send their salams upon me, then their salams are conveyed to me with their name. Think about Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is knowing your name, your personal name. And the more you say your salams upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the more this is conveyed. And think about this. Imagine someone was sending you praises. Imagine someone is sending you praises and you are being told that this is this person, this is his name, and you're thinking to yourself, who could this person be? I want to put a name to a face. On the day of judgment, the most closest people to the Prophet wasallam, according to hadith, are going to be those people who send their salams most upon Rasulullah wasallam. And finally, Rasulullah wasallam, he also says in a hadith that anyone who wants Allah to clear their heart from miseries, from worries, let, his send, let him send his peace and blessings upon me. So next time we find ourselves in a difficult situation, send your peace and your blessings upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Take our time every day because this is a man who did so much for us. The least that we can do is we can send our peace and blessings upon him. Don't be stingy brothers and sisters. When we hear the name Rasulullah, say sallallahu alayhi wasallam. When we hear Muhammad, we say sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And every day we take our time and we send our peace and blessings upon this man, this greatest man who has ever set foot on this earth. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he keep us steadfast upon the deen of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us his companionship uh, on the day of judgment. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept his shafa'ah on, on, um, on, uh, for us and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us his companionship in Jadul Firdaus al-A'la. Amin Rabbil Alameen. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.